one? Yes, please. Um, one of the and then we Speaking yesterday at the consultation for the members of the interreligious organization, the deputy chairman of the Ethnic Relations Commission, the ERC, retired Brigadier Norman McLean, said that President Granger told the commissioners that theirs will be a thankless undertaking. When we met with the president, he felt that this was obviously going to be a thankless job for us. We are not going to be able to satisfy everybody, and um, we are hoping that we will find good balance. The substantive chairman, Dr. John Smith, has not attended any of the consultations with the public over the last two days. It was reported by the other commissioners that Dr. Smith is unwell. Additionally, the personal demands of some of the commissioners have already been having a toll on their functions with the ERC. It's nearly an impossible task. In fact, as I was coming here this morning, I was saying that we have uh, 10 members. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five are not here at this time. Because it's very, very demanding. So, so it goes. Uh, people have jobs. We don't have full-time jobs. We are here to try and serve this nation and to serve in what is a very, very difficult task. The senior commissioner said that he is privy to information which suggests that Guyana is a largely divided country, one of the worst in the world. We have seen in other areas where they're saying Guyana is one of the most divisive, if not destructive, places in the world. After the meeting yesterday on the sidelines, Channel 2 Headline News asked McLean for an update on the investigation of the charges made to the commission by the PPP against the Granger administration. Um, yes, sir. The opposition leader says that he has formally, they have formally sent a, a request to you guys for investigation. How is that going? <laughs> I nearly don't want to say they're going there. No, um, we've received it. And we've established a subcommittee, which will be led by a lawyer and a PHR consultant and an investigator to exercise the requirements of investigating the That it, has been done. Is, is, there, is there a timeline? We have given them a month in which to do it, and um, I don't believe that that month will be enough, but... Um, what we've done is had a meeting with the chairman of GCOM and um, we're, we're expecting that there will be cooperation on both sides to, to conduct the investigation. In his submission yesterday, McLean also said that it is a shame that the commission was disbanded and was not allowed to do the work which they had started some 14 years ago. After the first seven years, we had a seven year when nothing happened, and now we are back again, and we are calling this the second coming of the Ethnic Relations Commission. And it's a shame that we did not continue to do all that we should have been doing in terms of conflict resolution, trying to work together and live together and be harmonious. For Channel 2 Headline News, Wendell Jeffrey. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.